you to go to work for eight hours. When I come from work, I'm tired. Philip, when you come from work, you are tired. But oh, after you've come back from work, having done the same sort of thing as I did, and coming to pay a fair share of the bills as I do. Ah, can you go to the kitchen right now and cook? No, I don't like leftover food. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are the diapers here? Ha, 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 ha. Why haven't you wiped here? Ho, 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 ho. Come wash my car. Yes, 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 yes. I don't want this kind of food. Go and cook another one. No, that does not work. Yes, I know people don't like domestic staff. To be honest, me, if I need domestic staff, <laughs> we get domestic staff. If we both go and we do the four shift and we need domestic staff, we need somebody to care for the baby and to clean up before we come, then yeah, that's a decision we need to make jointly. If we are not doing the domestic staff and we are going to pitch in to pay the bills, then after we've worked full time to pitch in to pay the bills, we need to pitch in with the things. Yes, I am the better cook, I'll cook. But there are certain things that need to be done too. I know somebody who came to me this week to complain about being asked to take out the bin. So I asked him, can you cook? No, you can't cook. Eh, okay. Can you wash clothes? Even the washing machine, he can't use. Eh, no problem. Can you sweep? No, no, no. That's for women. Eh, no problem. Mm. Taking out the bin. Eh, that, how can a whole me be doing such a menial job? Well, I don't know which half person in your home should be wiping the floor the way you don't want should be wiping your backside the way you don't want should be carrying out the uh, rubbish the way you don't want and then be paying most of the bills or half of the bills the way some of these systems are set up i don't know how it's going to work for you long term so what exactly are you contributing to the home and this guy was looking at me like eh like eh, eh come let me tell you the truth the way you need to hear it in a way that you need to understand it so you understand the importance for you mabel come so this woman she pays her own bill she's already had children when she comes from work she's too tired to even jump in bed with you you are not getting enough action in the bed, uh, bedroom no 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 I means she's wasting all the energy at work yes 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 okay no problem uh, this woman pays the bills for herself most of the time. Yeah. She cooks in the house. Yeah. She cleans in the house. Yeah. You want her to take out her own bin. Yeah. You want her to wash her own clothes. Yeah. So what's the point in having you in her life? And you could see the catch finally when he understood. <gasps> yeah. What's the point of you? Why will she tolerate you and your nonsense and all the inconvenience that comes with living with another person when you do not do anything to make yourself relevant in this uh, relationship? And I say this to the women too. Please understand, this is not gender related. I always say to the women who come wanting to bat an eyelid and expect you guys to drop everything and do, you guys get sick and tired of those women. Speak the truth. Ask the men. Who have foolishly taken on lead i call them lead women lead weights they don't do anything for themselves they just come heavy to come suck you dry and drag you down they are pieces of lead who make progress difficult ask the men who encounter women like that and ask them do they get sick and tired of them at some point initially when the woman is attractive okay fine they will tolerate you initially before the children are born okay they will tolerate you after the children are born, ask those women what happens to them. Ask what happens to them when they are irrelevant in people's lives. What happens to them? Don't you realize that's the same thing that will happen to a man who allows that to happen to you too? So yeah, you don't want to take the trash. Eh, no problem. So the one thing you do that she doesn't have to do, the one thing that could make you significant, I mean, it's a bit sad. That the one thing you have to stake a claim towards relevance is taking out the trash, the bin. And even that one too, you don't want to do. So now that she is able to go out and do her own bin, buy her own food, clean the house and whatever else, and she has a choice to live alone and cook for one. When you cook for one, you eat whatever the hell you want. If you don't want to cook, no explanation. 
If you want to eat one meal five times a day, that is your business. If you don't bring anything to the table, <laughs> if you don't make any meaningful contribution to a pairing, if you are a liability rather than an asset to people, they get sick and tired of you at some point. And even if they don't get rid of you, even if they don't get rid of you, you will find yourself now commanded like a dog. And no, it happens to both genders for the same reason. This is what happens to the men and they cry. It happens to the women all the time, but you guys treat it as normal. So you don't realize the woman in the home. Hey, come here. I've got guests. Cook. Cook, 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 cook. Hey, 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 come. 